Okay, so basically we need to do these three things, right? If you want to complete this, we need to say generate, uh, get question and get score. So let's start with generate first. Now, if you remember in the earlier application, which was our quiz app, in this basically, if you go back to your quiz controller, this is where we were generating the quiz, right? Now this time we are saying that it will request, I mean, of course this create will be there on the quiz service as well, but it will request the question service to create the quiz or to get the questions. So what we can do is, I can use something like this in my app. So here, the request will be coming for the generate. So I'll say get mapping, and this the request will be coming for generate as we mentioned before. And the method name, let's say public, is get questions for quiz. And it will return something, right? So what do we return here? Now basically, if you remember, when we talk about quiz application or the before the earlier application, it was getting questions. But this time, what if we don't return questions, we just return the numbers? So that's it anyway, all the calculations is going to happen on the question service, right? So this getting scored, uh, getting the questions, anyway, it is happening in the question service then why quiz has to know about the questions? We can simply return the list of numbers, the IDs of the questions. So we are going to return, we're going to return response entity, but that will be specific to the list of numbers. So we can say list of integers, okay? And we are going to just return, return it here. But the question is, who will be getting us questions? Of course, everything we have to, every time you want to need some, you need something, you have a question service, right? So you will say, hey, question service, get questions for get questions for quiz and then of course we have to pass some parameters right even from the quiz service when it is requesting to the question service we have to basically basically specify some parameters here and when you say parameter of course if you want to generate a quiz or if you want to give a list of questions you just need two things tell me the category the topic name and tell me how many questions you need so I can simply say, and this will be coming from the questions, uh, the quiz service, right? So quiz service will request to the question service and it will also pass these two values. So we can simply specify a request param. We will need string uh, category and we can say category name. And here we can say request param and this will be your number of questions. Yeah, I know things are going on different line. Maybe I can just get this here. Uh, this looks cool, right? So now uh, we just need to pass these two values from the quiz service, just remember that. Okay, but then we have to pass this value here as well, so I can pass category name and I can pass the number of questions. And we don't have this method, so let's create this method. So I will just right click here, or I will just click here and say create this method. Now in this method, how do you get the questions? Okay, now instead of typing the code, what we can do is, if you remember, in the earlier project, when we said, create a quiz, and if I click on this, this is the logic, right? This is what we wanted to do. I can simply copy this because that's what we need. Nothing fancy. Create quiz, and we are getting this. So this is the thing, right? And out of this, we just need this line because we anyway, in the DAO layer, if you see, in the DAO layer, so I'm into the quiz application, the monolithic application, in the DAO layer, not of this, the question DAO, we had this thing, right? We just need to get the questions for a category based on the number of questions. We just need to get this. Anyway, in our application, we have that. So what I will do is, I will go to quiz service. I just need this line of code. I can just copy this. Go back to our new application, which is the uh, question service, and paste. That's it, this is the thin thing we need. Now we have to make some changes. The changes, of course, we have to pass the category name and the number of questions, right? Now in the DAO, of course, it also has a DAO here. So if you see the DAO for the question DAO, we already have that particular method here. The difference is this time we don't want to return the questions. What we want to return is the question ID. So that will be integer. And here we don't need to return the star because star will give you everything. We just need the ID. So q.id and with the same thing. So we'll need the category, we'll need the number. And based on that, I just need to fetch the questions. That's it. Now this will return the list of integers, right? So in the question service, it will return the list of integers and, oh, this should not string, this should be integer, I made a mistake here. This should be integer and here also we have to say integer, right? And now it will, it will work. 
And the only thing is we have to convert this into a response entity. So we'll say return new response entity. And then we have to pass two values here. The first one is questions, and the second one is a status. So it's a status dot okay, and that's it. So basically, if when you say generate quiz, this is what we need to do. Okay, and now, so that's question done, generating questions done. So next we need to do something for the uh, get questions. Now get question is post mapping, and here we'll say get questions. Now why do we need to define this? This is very simple, this is basically if a quiz service is requesting for the questions for a particular ID, we can do that with the help of uh, get questions. And here we'll say public. Now this will basically return the list of questions, right? So I will say response entity. And here we have to pass the list of questions. Then the thing is we don't need to return the answer, right? Because if you see the question, it has answers as well. We don't want to return answer. What we want to return is the wrapper because in wrapper, question wrapper, we have ID, question title, and options. We don't have answer. So what we are going to return is question wrapper, and we'll say get questions from ID. Now since we are saying that we are going to return questions for the IDs, right? So of course we need to request for the ID as well. So from the quiz service, I'm expecting that we will get some IDs. And since it was not one ID, it is multiple IDs, so we'll say list of integers, and we'll say question IDs. So basically that's what I'm getting from the quiz service, but basically. And we just need to return whatever question service returns to us. So question service dot get questions from ID. And of course we don't have this method yet. So we'll create that method. So I will say questions ID. So let me create this particular method here. Okay, so method created, let's go back to our service and you can see we have this particular method here. Now let's define it. So the thing is for this particular IDs, we have to communicate with our database to return the IDs to you, right? So how will you do that? So it is a bit complex, so just be with me. So we don't need to return questions, right? We need to return the question wrapper. So of course we need to get the question wrapper first. So I will say question wrapper. This is what we want to return. So I will say wrappers is equal to new at a list. Now this is what we want to return. So here we can simply say return new response entity. And then we need to pass two things. We need to pass the wrapper and the status. So I will say HTTP status dot okay, right? Now here, we can't send empty, right? Of course, we need to return questions based on the question ID. Now, how will you get that? It's very simple, get the IDs and get the questions out of it. So the way you can do that is what if we can create a list of questions here and we'll, we'll call them questions and we need, to, we need to fill this at a list from the database. So based on this ID, we'll, we will fill this and from this question, we'll, get, we'll create a question wrapper, okay? Now, how will you connect with database to get this data? We have DAO layer, so we can use it. So what we'll do is we'll iterate between these IDs and get one question at a time. So I can say for integer ID colon question IDs. So for each question, we need to get the question first. And the way you can do that is by saying question Q is equal to, or maybe we can directly add that in the list, right? So I can say question. So whatever data you're getting from the data database, you will simply add that to the list. So we can say questions.add, but what you will add here, now this is something you need to get from the database. So you will say question DAO dot, there's a method called find by ID, which will ask you for the ID and we got the ID. The only thing is this will return optional. So you will say get so that you will get the value. Okay, now what we are doing is we are simply passing these values and getting data from database and we are adding that in the questions, right? But then we don't want questions, we want wrapper, which will not have answers, right? So what we can do is we can iterate between the list again. We can say questions, question is equal to questions. And from these questions, we'll copy data into question wrapper. And for that, we'll say question wrapper is equal to new question wrapper. And then one by one, we'll convert the question into question wrapper, not converting, but copying data. So we'll say wrapper.setID. That's the first thing we have to set. And this will be coming from a question now. So question.getID, that's one. You know, I just hope there should be some library to do that. I will say set uh, question title. So we'll say question, give me title. And then wrapper.set option one. So we'll say question.set option one. And I can, you know, I can just simply copy it, copy it now. And we'll set this as, okay, this that was one. This should be two, this should be three. 
this should be four and this will be two this will be three and this will be four okay now once we have added the question so basically we have uh, we are creating one question wrapper at a time we just need to add that to the list so we have wrappers dot add we are adding this wrapper here that's it and now once we have added it, we can simply return the value, right? So it, I think we have generated, we have done for the get question IDs as well. There is some error somewhere. It is because of this. Okay, I think we don't have the constructor. So I will go back to question wrapper and say I need a no argument constructor. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, okay. Things are looking good. I don't see any problem here. Okay, so that was for the get question IDs, right? Now we need to do one more thing, which is for the uh, get score. This is where we need to do calculation. So what I will do is, I can do it for the get score now. Now when you say get score, basically a quiz service will send the responses which a quiz service got from the client. So number of students are submitting the, qu submitting the quiz to the quiz service. Now quiz service will send this data to the question service to get the score. And each set of responses will get one score. So single score, basically we have to return only one score. So here we'll say get score, and I forgot to put the method name, so it is public. It should return response entity, but then that will be just an integer now. We just, we want to return a score, right? A score will be a number. And we can say get score. Now it will accept certain things, right? In fact, it only needs a list of responses. So from the quiz service, you will get a list of responses, not response entity, the list of responses which we import the package. Now what is response here? So if you say response, we only have two things here. Question ID and the response. This is basically answer. So let's say uh, if you get a question and you get four options, now that question will have an ID that we, we need. And also for that particular question, what is the option selected by the user? And once we know it, we can get this code, right? For each question, so you can say responses, right? Now how do you calculate score? Uh, we'll, we will not do that. We'll ask our service to do that. So it's a question service dot get score by passing the responses, right? But we don't have this method, right? So let me create this method in the service, right? Okay, now how do you calculate score? Now basically we have done this code before, right? So if you go back here in the quiz service, if you can see, we do have this entire logic here, right? Now what I will do is I will just copy this logic. And of course we don't need everything. But let's copy it, copy it. So copy and paste. Okay, first of all, we don't need quiz now, right? This is, we don't even have anything with this quiz here. Uh, we don't need list of questions. Anyway, we got responses. What we can do is for every response, in fact, we don't need this int as well. You can remove this. We just need write. Okay, see anyway, the response has an ID, right? So what if whatever response I'm getting Okay, so for the response ID, I need to get the question, right? So what I can do is I can say question, question, I just need to import the package, I think. What are you done? Okay, question. Because see, why do we need question here is because question has the answer, right? Now we can pick one question at a time. And the way you can do that is by using question DAO. And you can say, hey, question DAO, give me the question for a particular ID. So find by ID. And how will I get the ID? ID is then the response, right? So I can say response dot get ID. And for that particular ID, I need the question first. And okay, it will give me optional. So I will say get. For this particular, let's say in responses, we have two things, right? We have ID and we have answer. Now with each ID, I can get the question first because the question has something called get right answer. So here I can get this. So what we are doing is we are comparing the response with the right answer. If it is same, then we are saying plus plus. Otherwise, we don't need to increment, right? Simple stuff. Okay, and that's how basically you calculate this code, okay? Now, if you look here uh, for the entire question controller, we have done with this methods. So this is basically what we have built our question service. Now, this question service is going to be used by the quiz service. Now, how we are going to do that, that we'll see in the next video.